Welcome back to my cycling channel. I got my beautiful wife here. Hello. My better half. I'll take it. <laughs> We're talking about bags. Handlebar bags. I got my Roadrunner shipment. And what's really interesting is I ordered two bags. I ordered the Burrito Supreme, which is their medium sized bag, and their Burrito California, which is their bigger bag. And when I ordered it, it took a couple days, I didn't hear anything back, so I sent them an email and I said, when are you gonna ship? And they said, well, we're out of stock and uh, can you wait a little bit? And I told them that our bikes were stolen, both our bikes were stolen, and they said, have no fear, let me work some magic for you. And they, as soon as they sent that me email, I got the shipping notification right after. So, huge shout out to Roadrunner. I'm gonna show you these bags in a second. But obviously, if you guys haven't heard, both our bikes were stolen. Uh, it's completely our fault. Um, went into a coffee shop and left them outside around all these other cyclists. I got another video on it. I'll put it in the description where like, we chased them because their phone was in, in one of the handlebar bags. It was crazy. So if you're interested in that, check it out in the description. Yeah, so let's look at the bags. So we got both of them here. So not much of an unboxing. It just comes in this bag. But I actually didn't realize that these are machine washable. Yeah, which is awesome. Cause I mean, you can put your like gel, empty gel in there and get like some goo on it. Yeah. Or just drip some stuff on it, you know? Or sometimes I leave mine all the way opened. Like I just <laughs> leave mine open like this so I can get in and out of it real quick. What I really like about it are these straps. It's really easy to take on and off like so. And then you use this Velcro piece on the back to put it around your handlebars. I'll show you what it looks like on the bike later. Um, and it's it's really rigid, it's got a plastic piece in there, it has this molly on the front, if you wanna attach lights or whatever. It has a waterproof zipper, and I believe this bag is waterproof um, to a point. Well, they're so thick too, like it'd be hard to penetrate that. Yeah. And then I suppose the plastic piece would help keep it, it got waterproof through here, too. it would be hard to get in. I've never had any issues with water mm -hmm. coming through. Um, and you can see it has this like waterproof zipper. So the difference between the two is really the size. As you can see, they're the same girth, but this one is a lot longer and it has side pockets. But this guy on the handlebar is pretty big. I'm gonna show you both what they look like on the bike. But it's not bothersome. No. No, it's not no. in the way. No, we had our old one. I, the one thing I didn't like about our old one is that when it was opened, the front would sag. And that one, this one's different. It doesn't seem to sag. It's much stiffer. Stiffer, right? So, um, yeah. So, I mean, in terms of a handlebar bag, guys, like for 80 bucks. Top notch. Yeah, like there was this other one I was looking at that mounted on and it, and you needed to like screw it and it looked really cool cause like you could pop it open and it looks awesome. I'll put a link and I'll put it up right now so you guys can see the one I'm talking about. It was like $180. And what I love is how easy this is to take on and off. Cause there's rides where you just don't want this, right? Mm -hmm. Or you want to use a small one cause we have the smaller one as well, the, the, the mini one. So like to take it on and off, it literally only takes seconds. And that's, that's really important to me. And like I said, with these straps, it's it's uh, super easy. So yeah, I love it. Anything negative you think about it? No, I can't think of anything negative. I, I just love it. I love, you know, that I can take off my vest in there, my phone. I mean, you could take an extra water bottle if you were yeah. going out far and you didn't think you were gonna hit a store. Like You could put a water just, bottle in there. Yeah. No Even this one. I think so. so. You actually we went up to the top of Mount Lemon and you brought an extra uh, jersey or undershirt. I've done that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you bring bring whole extra kit in here. You could, yeah. <laughs> so if you're getting really wet going up to the top and you know it's gonna be freezing up there, right? You can change your undershirt so you're not cold on the way down. It's one of those things I never used before this year and then once I start using it and then our bikes got stolen and then I didn't have them, I was like, shit, I need my handlebar bag. Especially for me with YouTube, I popped the GoPro in there but I would highly recommend them. Also guys, handmade, mm -hmm. handmade in, in uh, Los Angeles, you can see there. I really like that. Me too. I mean, with the day and age where everything's made in China, like, and I don't know, I'm not knocking that. I, I don't wanna, you know, obviously, this is a cycling only channel, but it's nice when the product's made here and you can see, uh, see the quality. For sure. Right? 
the day before my, our bikes were stolen last Sunday, I was getting like sick cold symptoms. Like my throat was hurting. I had like snot in the morning, green snot. And then I got a COVID test last week and I just got the results negative. So uh, the last week I've been feeling like absolute crap. And if you've been following me on Strava, you see I haven't been riding that much. But um, yesterday I got the clear, free and clear on the COVID, COVID negative, and I don't have any symptoms and I'm feeling better every day. So check me on Strava. The last five weeks here, I've been averaging 20 hours a week, six weeks here. And then the last two months prior to that, I was averaging about 20 hours a week. But now this last kick, this last five weeks before I go home, I'm like all in on getting as fit as I can. And like, how, how, how much of I am stuff up? How serious are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like coming home now and I'm like, I never, when, when did I ever have a smoothie after a ride? Never. Now I'm like, I gotta get the spinach smoothie. I'm getting in bed for 30 minutes to an hour after every ride. Yeah. Earplugs. But that's really great recovery. Like if you can do it, right? It's yeah. amazing recovery. So we'll see. I think the end of the five weeks, I'm gonna jack stuff up. Like I'm gonna be, my fitness is, might be at a new level. Ooh, the kids are coming. Can you hear them? <laughs> Guys, if you have kids, feel your pain. Never a dull moment. Where's the eggs? Just looking for the Easter egg. Oh, yeah, we did an Easter egg hunt the other day. Kids got an iron will. An iron will. It's unbelievable. Hot. Like my coffee? Hot. It's good. <laughs> uh, Is this decaf? No. no. You like coffee? Mommy, some. Oh. Mommy, got the whole family. <laughs> Come say hi, Charlize. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go put these on the bike. I'll show you what they look like. one thing I don't like about this bag but first let's get a nice shot of it here out beautiful mountains here in Tucson behind me when I'm riding along I can't close the zipper I can open it but let me show you why I can't close it it's because you need two hands you can't just pull on that and close it you need to hold it here and go like that you can open it with one hand but you can't close it. All right, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Next video is gonna be on the Rokas. I got two pair of Roka shades. I love these glasses. I'm gonna tell you about these in the next video. All right guys, if you wanna come along on my cycling journey, I'm down here for another five weeks. I'm trying to get my FTP back up to where it was last summer, 400 watts. I did 420 watts for 20 minutes. And right now that feels like a far ways away. If you wanna see if I could pull that off, hit the subscribe button and I got another huge goal you can help me out with getting to 10,000 subs by the end of this year so yeah hit that subscribe button and if you like the video please like it please comment and I'll see you on the next video